Well, this is our strengthening kit. You've got all kinds of bits and pieces. That's for the strut tops there. So the next thing that needs to be done is mark out, clean up, and then start welding. These three mil plates at 50 pounds are the same thickness as the original car and will stop the suspension being smashed through the wheel arches. I score around but spot something that could cause an issue later. Okay, so we now know where I need to clean away the paint ready for welding, but you can see there's a bit of a problem here. The chassis number for the car is gonna end up covered up by our strengthening plates. What I need to do now is take a photograph as evidence of what it actually is. I spoke to the DVLA and they have allowed me to re-stamp the chassis number on the top of the strut. But each case is considered separately, so you'll need to check yourself. I MIG weld the plate into place and when everything's done, I'll repaint the engine bay. Right, well this is now going to be much stronger, so it's going to take all the extra grief from the suspension because that means it's only going to pass the stress to the next weakest link in the chain. Now if you imagine you're going along your rally course, you're going to be going over loads of yumps. Of course the car's going to be trying to flex and what happens is with too much flexing it's actually going to fatigue the metal, it's going to crack and it's going to break. So, this little gusset here is going to pop into position just like so and of course that's going to help give a bit more strength then pass that stress into the rest of the car structure. If you want to enter the world of rallying, even at a basic level, you should expect a specialist to charge around £2,000 for structural work. Me, I expect to spend the next couple of days making sure the engine bay is strong enough for our escorts to go rallying.